hi friends in a for loop there are three expressions which are executed the expression one at the beginning of the loop once only it is uh, evaluated and the expression two is at the beginning of each iteration each step so it is checked whether it is true or false if it is true then the loop is executed otherwise it comes out of the loop and the expression three is always executed at the end of the iteration and once it is executed next again expression 2 is evaluated for true and false based on this it comes out or stays with the loop and this is the flow chart we will be following it this is our editor and at the right side we will check the output so we will start with for first for the expression 1 i am just declaring the variable here the or the uh, increment what it will be the initializing it to 1 so then I am telling the condition this is important here the condition will be it should be less than equal to 10 and then what third expression dollar i uh, plus plus this is same as writing dollar i equal to dollar i plus 1 because this is the incremental uh, value I have given now I am here otherwise if you are not comfortable I will write it initially equal to dollar i plus 1 fine now i'll just print it echo dollar i dot see here i'm giving a line break because each each step uh, one one will be one two three four like that i am expected to print so i have saved it refreshing it here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so up to ten because every time it evaluates its it runs and prints the and checks this expression this is checked and accordingly it prints. Note that how the i value is incremented after the loop. So, means every step the, at the end only this value is evaluated and then this condition is checked. So, to uh, confirm that what we will do we will just print the value outside the loop. So, we will say value of dollar i because it is a string I am escaping this. This way it will not uh, treat it as a variable this will be treated as, as it is as a string so i have given a escape character outside outside the loop so what's the value outside the loop here i am just giving a string addition so expression now once only this loop ends here and this will be once only it will be evaluated now you can see i have saved it this value will be 11 value of dollar a outside the loop because what happens when it it takes the 11 value but what happens this stays this fails because this is no more less than or equal to 10 so it comes out of the loop let's understand the break statement what you will do we will give a if condition here where no note that we are giving before the echo command so i am saying if this value of i is greater than 5 greater than 5 then what you should do is i'm giving here break fine so what happens now you can see it will come up to five and it will come out once uh, it is greater than means up to one to five only it will print let's just see this so you can see this value uh, outside the loop is six because it is already increment it is incremented but the condition inside is failed so here also it is the third step is evaluated so one two three four five moment it comes to next time it comes to six this echo command is no more printed because it comes out of the loop now we can also say if equal to what happens if it is equal to five then what happens and then if suppose if it is increment but once it breaks it will come out let's just see and see how it works so one two three four so moment it is five the break statement works and it comes out of the loop let's work uh, in the step value this increment value is not that we are we have to increment by one we can increment it with any value so let's put it this way so we'll saying that dollar i plus equal to 10 means i am saying that increment it by instance step of 10 so for that i will change it to 100 so less than equal to 100 that's the statement so we can run this and see how this is so 10 10 10 it will take so first it starts with 1 11 21 31 41 like that otherwise i can make it to start from 0 so i will get start from 0 fine 
so value outside is 110 as expected now you can even put it negative also so in that case i will i have i will start it uh, as long as it is greater than or equal to minus 100 and this i am giving it decrement means each step you decrease by 10 let's just see this what happens your 0 10 minus all minus values have come what happens if i will give a uh, condition which you can never meet say I, I will remove this one then what happened it will be an indefinite loop and it will because this condition will never to and it will hit the maximum execution time and it will stop that PSP will stop after some time because this condition will never meet 0 minus 10 minus it will go on continuing it will never be reaching the positive side so that is the this is how we can increase or decrease the step value let's understand for each so this is useful when we are looping through a an array so let's remove this okay we'll start we'll create one array array is if you are not knowing it's you can set a number of elements inside the array and declare a single variable instead of working with multiple variables so we'll also study that now i am just putting some values say it's a mark of some students now let's say and some values i am storing it in an array so now I had to display all the elements by looping so for that I, it's a similar to for but here there is no increment is required because system we will automatically print it dollar a because the array as here I am giving the i i value here now I will say inside this now I will say print uh, or echo uh, it's a string present element element is because this one one element I'm saying I'll say every time I will give this is the not our uh, this is just a string only because I have escaped it you can see here I am saying this array element now this I'll give a colon now I string addition so I am printing dollar i and then as usual we'll go for a sorry I have closed the string yeah I'll we'll go for a line break find this my statement now what this will do is take one one element and print it there is no increment value here because every time at end of each loop the pointer reaches to the next element so let's just see that present element first 10 20 13 and 25 and then it comes out of the loop let's understand about speed of looping and what is a better code here so we'll just uh, change this again to for loop for now we are saying again I will come back to our pointer dollar i equal to 0 and what we are saying is this one less than count count gives the number of elements in an array so a so here I am saying if it is less than then only and then again I am incrementing this is our what the normal way what we have learnt so the element is present element here I what I will say I will say because it's a counter 0 1 2 3 like that it will take so I will say taller a this is the way I will able to uh, print the value so I am just saving this let's run this once so okay here the same output I am getting there is no change in the output but here is an issue you see every time this function is evaluated this count function is evaluated this is not the better way rather because this count is not changing this number of elements inside the array is remain same so the better way of doing is in number I am just writing it let me write this way no equal to I will say it here count and then I am giving this so what happened now it is fixed here so I will say a no so here I will just save this and the same output now this is a sorry here I have to mention dollar i less than a no let's just see this how it works yeah the same same thing but this is a better way we'll learn about nested for loops so these are many applications we work on that so it will have a one for loop inside another I mean many other steps also we can go so for that let's just create one table so you note uh, 1 to uh, 10 table will create so each uh, uh, number will be multiplied by 1 2 3 4 like that and we will display it so first I am doing the external one so I am giving v1 it's the value 1 external now this as long as it is uh, less than or equal to 
10 so let's go up to 10 you can increase it now the st incre increment value again it is same as plus plus so it is increment of 1 now I am closing this now inside this I am putting my uh, another for loop so here I am using I I equal to 1 then again I it is less than let's say 11 so it's up to 10 it will go so then the again increment now this is a another loop so what happens first external loop then the internal loop will be completed then again it will go to external loop here what I am doing I am just multiplying these two what I have say v1 so, sorry v1 now okay and this is I am writing it here so uh, what I will do I will say x I am just this is a string only then i this is the value will be printed there now actual e equal to uh, this I will write it inside this then I am string addition here actually I will multiply it v1 multiply multiplied by my i value so let's close this now I want every each uh, at the end of each every one uh, sorry every line we should have a comma at the end so I can directly write it here or next line I can go I'm giving a comma here fine now once the first internal loop is completed that should be a line break well otherwise what happens this will continue horizontally uh, it will continue so I want to keep a line break here so I can display it properly now let me just I saved it running it uh, where something I line 6 here I plus plus for taller oh, here I put extra let's just okay I think I have to zoom it out let me here you can see now this is uh, I just zoomed out it is so you can 90% okay so you can see this x10 x20 okay first 0 now let me okay here I have not given value as 1 I have given value 1 so it has assumed 0 now 1 into 1 1 into 2 2 1 into like that it is 1 then 2 2 2 into 2 4 2 this is this is just 2 table then 3 table then 4 table 5 table. like that all multiplications are displayed here so this is the main concept of a main uh, use of a nested for loop this way we can expand it further and use it and you can create beautiful patterns of using this now let me just give you another example I'll keep the external loop same and inside instead of all this so I will go less than this value I will check it less than let's say dollar sorry it is v1 so each time the upper limit for each time internal loop the upper limit has changed now instead of all this I will say here I will say echo one star I will print let's just refresh it and see here what happens uh, where I have on line 8 okay I missed this fine so here it is see this pattern I will if possible okay I will not able to zoom it now huh? yeah you can see now this is the pattern you can see so this way you can create multiple patterns also and you we have a in-depth full tutorial we'll see that in this page you will find several patterns and with the sample code also so this nested loops are used here they are and uh, this link is available in the description and you can just visit there and see and try to create these patterns this this will give you the full idea or control over the your uh, nested loops so that's all friends and uh, request you please subscribe and uh, 
press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post new new videos we frequently do that and in this topic you or any other topic you have any doubt suggestion or any ideas or any feedbacks to give please use the comment section below to post it and based on that also we change our script and we come with new new scripts also and please request you please share this video with your friends and uh, request them to subscribe also thank you for watching